1972, the future Nobel Prize winner James Tobin introduced the idea of a tax on all spot conversions of currency. Levied at a rate of less than 1%, it was intended to penalise short-term currency speculation involving the rapid buying and selling of currency, often a matter of milliseconds, involving large sums and a narrow margin of profit. Thus the Tobin tax was a measure of putting the brakes on this sort of speculation, which destabilised the markets, while having little effect on normal currency exchange dealing, which has a beneficial effect on the economy as the margins are considerably higher. The principle was soon applied to other financial markets, share dealings and trading in raw materials and bonds. For a long time the idea found support only among the anti-globalisation movement, but is gaining ground among European governments, particularly in France and Germany. According to a European Commission study, the tax could raise up to 55 billion euros a year. But opponents of the tax say that for it to succeed, it would have to be adopted by many countries at the same time, as a single country introducing the tax would see financial institutions desert it, the countries not imposing the levy. That is what happened in Sweden in the 1980s, the only time such a tax has been properly put in place. With the Social Democrat government imposing the tax on bonds and share dealing in 1984, and extending it to currency dealings in 1989. But most of the dealings were diverted elsewhere, especially to the deregulated London Stock Exchange, and the measures were dropped in 1991.